Hey everybody, I'm Doug and this is our channel, Walkers on Wheels and Water. So we started this channel a while back to do several different things. And one was to document our family, document what we do, and even if the whole world doesn't see it or share it, we have it there so any of us can go watch it anytime we want to, right? Second thing was to for me to have an outlet to do product reviews and do some things where I've always wanted to do. I used to do product reviews when it had to do with archery and stuff like that. And I haven't done it in a while. So I wanted to kind of get back into the swing of things. So this is my first product review on anything that we use on a regular basis. Now, I'm not going to go into, I'm not going to dive into the specs of this thing. I'm not going to dive into, you know, anything that you can find through other reviews such as Cycle Gear and Revzilla or any anybody else. Anybody that's going to run through the specs and tell you the features of the of what I'm about to show you, I'm not going to do that, okay? So I'm going to get into the meat and potatoes of the use of this helmet, how I used it, how long I used it, what I used it for, and give you my... Not I'm I'm gonna to try to be as biased as possible. Um, I'm gonna to try to like keep it keep it as neutral as possible. Um, but I am gonna tell you the things that I liked about it and the things I didn't like about it. Okay, so here we go. Let's get started on this. So this is a Scorpion Covert. I bought this helmet back in March of last year, and I know I don't have a full year on it, but I probably have more miles on this helmet in since March than most people do on a helmet in three or four years so i have about fourteen thousand miles on this helmet right um, between my bike riding my bike riding my wife's bike riding other people's bikes i pro i have about fourteen thousand miles on it the reason i know that is my motorcycle had five miles on it in march when i bought it it now has fourteen thousand seven hundred some odd miles so we're going to go with about fourteen thousand miles on that Definitely enough mileage to to give some good info on this helmet. All right, so the short overview of this helmet is, I said I wasn't going to get into a ton of specs. It's really light. It's 2.93 pounds. I love how light it was. And the reason why I like how light it was is because I have a vlogging setup that I set up on this. I have a GoPro Hero 9 I put on the front, a Cena on the side, and it's a lot of extra weight on a helmet. So when you start out with a light base, you're golden, right? It makes it even lighter. Um, it makes it a lot less, uh, a lot less strenuous on your neck because your neck's holding your big melon up already, and now you're holding a helmet up along with it. So that is one of the features that I really, really like about it. All right, <clears throat> I use this helmet to do long rides, short rides. I used to do every kind of ride you could possibly imagine. We did, I did over 600 miles in a day and a half with this helmet. I uh, did, you know, multiple two, three, four hundred mile days with it, and it's really light and it's really nice to have a light helmet on your head. All right, so that's kind of an overview of what I did with the helmet. So, all right, so some of the good features about the helmet is it has a removable face mask, right? This removable face mask is really nice. It comes in really handy when you are in a motorcycle class like myself and my wife took earlier this year. Actually, technically, that's last year because this is January 2022. Anyway, it was in November of last year. So we took the class, and what was really nice about it is I could take this off and not have to take the whole helmet off, take my gloves off, take everything else off, and be able to get something to drink. So I could just, and these, the buttons on the side are easy to push, right? So I did like that. It was a really nice feature. Pull over to the gas station. You don't want to get everything off. You just want to slam down a real quick drink gas up the bike and go pull it off it's great you want to give your wife a kiss you know in between rides just pop that off and hey yeah that works great too um <clears throat> so that is those are the really good you know the things that i really like about it the biggest thing i like about this helmet is the look of it this thing freaking looks awesome i mean where who else makes a helmet that looks like something that came straight out of top gun right all it needs is a big star on the side or something like that, right? So, anyway, it's a really nice-looking helmet. I got more compliments on this helmet than any other helmet I've ever had. So, now we talked about the good stuff. Let's talk about some of the not-so-good stuff. Maybe the stuff that you would say is bad, maybe. Um, one of the things, I like a really quiet helmet. I, I have some hearing damage from my younger days, um, and, and part of it is from riding motorcycles. Uh, so... 
I have my ears are a little bit sensitive when it comes to wind noise. Uh, it can cause me to get headaches and things like that. Now this helmet didn't get to the volume wind noise wise where I got headaches, but it was it was a little it was a little loud for my opinion. It really was a little bit loud. Um, it is not intercom friendly. So we have Cena's right. I put them in here, but the the where the speakers are there is no speaker cutout right so with no speaker cutout it put a lot of pressure on my ears which kind of gave me a fit another thing about a comm system is these straps and i can't really show them to you because i'm not taking the helmet apart if you can see it you can see it these straps are really thick and they're they're wide they're leather so the only place to put an intercom speaker is behind it well when you put it behind it it really blocks the amount of volume you get so when i'm riding down the road and i'm having a conversation through my comm system or you know having a conversation on camera with my wife i have a real problem hearing so sometimes i don't respond how i should or i say huh or anything like that all right i'm gonna talk about the conditions i've ridden this helmet in which is pretty much everything you can ride in, known to man. Outside of ice and salt, I didn't ride that. So what I did ride in it was really hot, really cold, really wet, and kind of moist, damp air. In the cold, it does pretty good in the cold outside of, if you don't wear some sort of covering on your skin underneath it, or have a beard like I do, um, your cheeks and right around your jaw get really, really chilly. I mean, they get, they, it does get really chilly because there is no vent on the front of this to close. It's just the mask. And on the back side of it, I'm going to pull it off real quick and show it to you. On the back side of it, you can see through it. It's kind of hard to tell in that picture, but it just has a foam over it and you can see through it. So... A lot of air moves through there when it when it hits you in the face. Um, cold. Oh wait, go back to cold. No, I'm on cold still. <laughs> anyway, all right, cold, cold weather. One good thing about this helmet is it doesn't fog up that bad. The drop down visor, because there's so much ventilation, there's so much air moving. It really doesn't fog up that bad. Now I did ride one time when it was about 27 degrees. And it did start to fog up a little bit. That, that, was, that was the only time that I really had any issues with it fogging up. When it's hot in this helmet, it's really hot. And here's why. This vent right here. This vent is the only vent on this helmet. And it's flat black. Now, the white might be different. Um, the Stormtrooper looking one really might be a lot different. But without having a lot of exit vents and a lot of intake vents, it does get stuffy. Uh, for your actual head now the face still stays pretty cool but your head is going to sweat which is going to do that in any helmet anyway wet conditions wet conditions was probably the worst conditions to ride this helmet in and it's because it didn't seal off very well at all um, there was water that kept running down my face and i couldn't figure out where it was coming from i believe it was coming from this vent caused other issues with recording sometimes uh, cause issues with hearing things in the um, in the microphone and it's because the vent is loose I'm going to put it up to my mic you can hear that now riding down the road at 70 miles an hour it does vibrate quite a bit if you're using this as a full face helmet please understand that the face mask is not for protection my sticker is worn off here but it actually says that it is not for protection the DOT approval is for a half shell helmet only. It is not for a full face helmet. So just make note of that. If you're trying to find a helmet that is really safe and you want more protection on your face, this isn't going to give it to you. All this is going to do is maybe prevent a little bit of road rash if you go down. That's it. It's not there to keep you from breaking your jaw or anything like that, okay? So just remember that, okay? Um, all in all... The helmet was a really good helmet. I'm going to keep it. I'm not getting rid of it. I did replace it as a, with a, another helmet for vlogging, but that's just because it's quieter, it's more comfortable uh, than this particular helmet is. If you're a city rider, all day long, I recommend this helmet. 
if you're somebody that's going to take long, long distance rides, like four, five, six, seven, eight hundred miles on a bike that doesn't have a windscreen, I would tell you to look at something else. Look at something a little more aerodynamic, something that has more closed off vents or more versatile vents anyway. Um, I would definitely tell you to look at that uh, or look at something on those lines. Now, if you're behind a batwing fairing and you don't care about having a comm system, uh, you don't have, you know, you don't care about having any other types of attachments to the helmet, go for it. It might be a really versatile helmet for you. I never took this, I never took anything off except the face mask and I only did it in the class. Once I put my scene on here, I couldn't take the base of the helmet off because I would have lost all of it, okay? So that's why I never wore it like that. I'm more of a full face helmet kind of guy anyway as I came from riding sport bikes for many, many years. But hey, it is what it is, right? So um, anyway, that's my views, or that's my experience rather, not views. Um, that's my experience of the Scorpion EXO Covert Helmet. It's a really nice helmet, it's lightweight, and it'll work great for you if you're a city rider. Just please think about the things that, that are on my bad list, okay? Till next time, we're going to have another product review for you coming up soon on the Cena 20s or 20Ss. Um, that should be coming up pretty soon. Had a lot of good luck with them. Um, a little bad with them, but we'll go over all that on the next one. Until next time, guys, I'm Doug Walker with Walkers on Wheels and Water. Have a good day. Thank <music> you.